Delius. Human voices utterly lost, earth trembling beneath 1,200 looms, reverberant shuttle and frame. No quantalism of the human spirit could enter a single dot on this canvas. With a sigh of relief, he emerged amongst bracken, rocks and heather, where lovers met outcropped in his stone. Beyond the Neolithic homes, circles in heather, strident plovers attended, the ground dropping to the wharf. A lone shepherd's hut braced against winds on a moorland bluff. Here the first wayward call of the cuckoo came to him one spring, overlooking Ilkley, where he might scramble across rocks, finding his way up the precipice of parental opposition, praying the clothyard scrolls of Worsted, held with almost religious reverence, might not be forced into his hands. Music, high places and birdsong commune to make larks dance on invisible wires, a notation he brought Beecham to hear. Seeing the sun rise in his blindness on a far mountain, he may have heard again the bubbling cuckoo, resonant with mocking notes.